How's it going guys? Welcome to a special uh, afternoon edition, 1.30 in the afternoon of uh, the build series. I've got something to show you guys that I think you'll find pretty interesting. Uh, it's a little bit of an install, but not much, but I uh, figured I'd throw this into the build series as well. All right, something that I've noticed about these panels that I made to monitor the solar is on the inverter you see you've got DC and AC so it's showing the draw that's being created on the battery bank okay and the other thing I noticed is it does the same thing down here on um, the supplementary panel that I bought for the charge controller so basically what you're seeing here is all on the battery bank side of things here let me turn the air conditioner on I'll show you So you see how the amps are going up, the current on the left there? That's because I turned the air conditioner on. It's basically it's showing the draw on the battery bank right now. Um, the other thing that I did, and I this was just a trial to see if this would actually work, and it did. So I got this blue C voltmeter and this monitors voltage from 8 to 36 volts and I put it on the, the uh, positive side of the panels coming into the charge controller just to see if it would work or if it would fail because the panels got too much voltage going to them but it actually works out perfect I think the highest reading I've seen on here is like 34 volts so um, as long as there's daylight, this is on, but at nighttime, it turns off because there's obviously there's no more voltage in it. Once it gets below 8 volts, it turns off. But here's the thing. I can see voltage, but I don't know what kind of amps are being put out. So after testing the voltage one, I bought the, the OLED uh, ammeter, and it comes with a shunt to install. So today, what I'm going to do is I got a junction box and I am going to take the plastic box out and then make a whole new solar panel side of the um, information coming in. I want to know how much current is being put out by those panels. And to me that's pretty important because it could be 34 volts and 10 amps or 34 volts and 40 amps so that's something that's important to me so what I'm going to do today is is fab up this box and get that ready to be mounted take the plastic box off the wall in the shelter there and uh, get both of these tied into the uh, solar panel system so let's get started on that
All right, guys, check this out. I've got the AC on, and the battery bank is pulling, I don't know, 14, 15 amps right between there. And the charge controller is overpowering the batteries with enough amperage from the panels. And check this out. If I turn on like these fans, the charge controller will ramp up the amperage going into the batteries to make up for the loss. Look at that. So it does, uh, those panels do put out enough amperage to keep up. So I'm basically running everything off of the panel power, <laughs> which is kind of crazy if you think about it. But it, I mean, that just shows you that the, uh, the amps coming out of the panels will overpower the draw on the batteries. So I think this is a really good way to monitor what's going on because the amps on your battery side are always going to be lower as long as you have enough sunlight, they're always going to be lower than um, the charge controller will put out to try and keep up with uh, whatever load you have going on in here. So, pretty pretty neat setup. I think that's I think that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Uh, if you learn anything in this episode, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget, down in the description, I always leave links to uh, the majority of the items that I install in my videos. Um, some of them might be dead if you're watching this down the road years later. But uh, for the most part, I think some of them are still active. Some of them I get on eBay, so those links might be dead. But Give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And as always... I'll catch you guys next time. See you later. Bye-bye.